Hi, my name is Elias Lobin. I'm an expert and dealer in authentic ancient Greek, Roman, Biblical, Byzantine coins and artifacts. I run a website called trustedcoins.com where you have a wealth of information along with 6,800 items at the time of making of this film available for sale. Every item I sell comes complete with a beautiful professionally done certificate of authenticity, a lifetime guarantee of authenticity, and of course my signature. I've identified over 28,000 authentic ancient coins and artifacts over many years and every coin comes in a beautiful numismatic coin flip. You see you could look at both sides of the coin and you could take this part off with a short description that matches the certificate. The certificate comes with a professional complete description that many times cites a major numismatic reference or collection. And on the back you have the historical context of the item you have purchased. So whether you're brand new to the collecting field, you would like to learn more, you would like to make a great gift for others, maybe yourself, and if you believe that uh, this might be a, make a great investment, it might be a good idea to check out my site Trusted Coins. Today I'm going to be reading the biography of Roman Empress Julia Maesa. This is what Julia Maesa looked like from her coins. By the way, I have many coins of Julia Maesa in my store. You might want to check that out. Now for her biography. Julia Maesa was a Roman citizen and daughter of Julius Bassianus, priest of the sun god Heliogabalus, the patron god of Emesa, modern homes, in the Roman province of Syria. Grandmother of both Roman emperors Elagabalus and Alexander Severus, she figured prominently in the accession of each to the title at age of 14. Like her sister, younger sister, Julia Domna, she was among the most important women to exercise power behind the throne in the Roman Empire. Following the death of Caracalla, Julia Maesa rescued the Severan dynasty from the usurper Macrinus. Julia Maesa was married to Syrian noble Julius Avitus, who had two daughters, Julia Soemius and Julia Avita Mamaya, each of each one mother of an emperor. Following the accession to the throne of her brother-in-law, Septimius Severus, Julia Maesa moved to Rome to live with her sister. After the murder of her nephew, the emperor Caracalla, and the suicide of Julia Domna, she was compelled to return to Syria. But the new emperor Macrinus did not prescribe her and allowed her to keep her money. Once back in Syria, and possessed of ample funds, Maesa engaged in a plot to overthrow Macrinus and place one of her grandsons, Elagabalus, son of Julia Soamius, in his place. In order to legitimate, legitimize this pretension, mother and daughter fomented the rumor that the 14-year-old boy was Caracalla's illegitimate son. The, the two Julias were successful, mainly because Macrinus was of an obscure origin without the proper political connections and Elagabalus became emperor. For her loyalty and support, Elagabalus honored Julia Maesa with the title Augusta Avia Agasti, Augusta, grandmother of Augustus. The teenager proved to be a disastrous emperor, scorning Roman values with both religious and sexual scandals. He took the liberty of marrying a Vestal Virgin. She was one of the rumored five wives during his brief four years reign. Julia Maesa decided to promote instead of her 14 year old grandson Alexander Severus, whom I have coins of too. She convinced Elagabalus to adopt Alexander as his heir. Elagabalus was murdered shortly afterwards by the Praetorian Guard alongside his mother. Both were thrown into the Tiber River in contempt after being dragged from the palace through the streets. This event followed the rumor that Alexander had died. Julia Maesa died in, on an uncertain date around 226 AD. Like her sister Julia before her, she was deified. So visit my store, trustedcoins.com, to buy authentic ancient coins of Julia Maesa and others and beyond. Thank you. Look at that.